welcome back I just finished filming a what's in my hospital bag for me and baby number three so I thought I would also film what's in my postpartum care kit if you want to call it that um, assuming that I have a vaginal delivery like I did with my two previous um, babies so I will show you now so this is everything that I have ready to go for my postpartum recovery healing period for baby number three I do have some items doubled up for the bathroom downstairs but all of this will be in the main bathroom that is just outside of our bedroom because that is where I'll be hanging out while I am recovering so these have two purposes one i'm going to keep in the bed just in case um my water happens to break in the middle of the night though i highly doubt that will happen just because it's never happened to me before <laughs> but you never know so i don't want to wreck our bed so i do have these to place in our mattress and then as well while i'm in my postpartum healing phase um it's good to get airflow down there while you're healing especially if you tear and have stitches so I also want to use these to have just on top of the bed when I need to, you know, let things air out but still protect my mattress. Um, and then I can just cover up with a blanket or something while I do that. So these have two purposes and they're the large size ones. For postpartum healing, I have a few options just because I've only ever used Depends generally for healing, but I do have some leftover pads just from I don't even know from what so I do have those just in case and then I also Have these that a friend of mine who gave birth um, She didn't end up using these so she sent these to me to use so I guess freedom mom has made this cold maxi pad so it kind of has the double purpose so I'm interested to try these just to see. Generally what I do is with the Depends or the pads, I use those with the Tux pads, which has witch hazel and some other healing and relief ingredients just to help with, you know, healing discomfort. I keep these in the fridge. Um, so that kind of combines those. So I'll be interested to see how these work. But again, just in case I don't like them, I do have my <laughs> tried and true Tux pads with Depends or with pads and some nice, lovely underwear. Um, my friend also sent me some Sitz bath uh, tea, which I believe are just essential oils and Epsom salts, which again, while you're healing, especially if you had some tearing, any sort of relief is good. Moisture isn't always the best while you're healing, so it's good to do these Sitz baths just really quickly, get the relief. Um, there's some healing properties to them and then you get out and dry off and all that sort of stuff. I have, I think this is like an original peri rinse bottle from one of my other births. I also have one of the Freedom Mom peri rinse bottles because you will not be wiping postpartum for a while. You fill it up with some warm water, you rinse, dry, and then yeah do your whole it's a whole it's a whole ordeal it's a whole thing going to the bathroom postpartum is not just like a quick little trip it is a whole <laughs> like situation ritual uh, yeah my friend also sent me some earth mama herbal healing spray this is for your nether regions as well again just another relieving type item good old stool softeners for that first couple bowel movements post birth you know after pushing out a baby any sort of extra pressure after it can be very nerve-wracking. It's always scarier than what it actually is, um, but it's nerve-wracking. So you want to make sure, you know, things are going smooth down there. So yeah, that is basically it for postpartum healing. Um, again, I have some of these uh, stuff in doubles to have downstairs, but generally I just keep everything up here. And I have it by the toilet, easy access. Once I figure out what system I like best, I'll just simplify this. So I have it all quick, easy steps. Um, it still takes a while, <laughs> like it really does. Um, that's probably what I'm dreading most about giving birth this time around is the this part, but you make it through and you seem to have more kids after, so <laughs> it's not that bad. But yeah, so this is what I will be using and hopefully, you know, you got some ideas. Thanks for watching.